actress Missy Agbe finally reacts as her ex-husband Larry Gentry remarried. Regina Daniels and her husband Ned Moke meet up with the president of Sierra Leone over the eradication of malaria. The ongoing saga between the ghost and the child and Omogeto supremacy continues. Hello people, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Sisa J. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, you are highly welcome. And if you are not yet part of this family, what are you waiting for? Smash the red button and turn the bell notification by the side there so that whenever I upload any new video, you'll be among the first to get his notification. My returning friends, welcome back. Yes, I have three stories in this video. Let's dive straight into the discussions of today. Nollywood actress Macy Aime has come out to make a statement few days after her husband, her ex-husband, Larry Gentry, remarries. A few days ago, I made a video showing you guys some moments from the um, marriage of Miss Aibe ex-husband Lando Gentry and his new bride who is um heavily pregnant. I made a video of that. I also shared some clips from that wedding ceremony with you guys. So you you guys know that um Miss Aibe and her estranged husband Larry Gentry they've been married for years before they finally separated in 2017 over um that one I don't know if you talk about with uh, real English over say yeah, Miss Aibe say the man they use her body do panebita, okay? So because of that, they got separated in 2017. Since their separation, um, they've had several um, confrontation online on social media is where they called each other, where they drag each other on numerous occasions. The last one was just um, recently, yes, this year. The most um, the most recent fight was on Father's Day when my Miss Aibe attacked him for being a good father and Larry Gentry also retaliated okay um he threatened to expose some of her um Larry little secrets okay that was the dragon that happened last that was their most recent confrontation and Messi also begged the general public to ask uh, Larry Gentry to please sign the divorce paper she has given him since that he doesn't want to sign the divorce papers so over the weekend, this past weekend, Larry Gentry tied knot with his uh, um, new wife and um, after that he took to his Instagram page to share praises on the new bride saying um, she gives him peace. Okay, and he said a lot of good things about the new wife and uh, people reacted in different ways to that. I also made the video about that to you guys. So precisely yesterday, yeah, they wedded over the weekend, yesterday... Miss Aibe took to her Instagram page um, to write this. She said, still nobody's ex. Still nobody's ex. Okay, she, she wrote this on her Instagram page and people have reacted saying she's obviously throwing a shed at her ex-husband and the new bride, telling them she's nobody ex. And some of her friends took to the comment section to say one or two things you guys know they are not actually legally divorced like she called him out the last time that he doesn't want to sign the divorce paper so legally they are not yet divorced <laughs> in the real terms of it they are not yet divorced so actually she's right she's not anybody's ex she's she's so so right in this one we could not check him now it's true the man no agree sign the paper oh girl as you don't marry new wife now free her please oh free our Amiable Nollywood actress Miss Aibe. I hope by now, maybe now, he will sign the papers for her. Okay, guys, going on. Yes, I Regina Daniels and her husband, her Bilini husband Ned Moko, recently were in Sierra Leone, okay, to meet with the president over eradication of malaria. Regina Daniel has indeed proven that she is a supportive wife. Okay, um, they they visited the president of Syria alone, President Julius Mada, and um, according to her, she said they had a fruitful discussion on the way to eradicate malaria out of Africa. Regina Daniels took her Instagram page um, to share this picture of the president of Syria alone alongside herself and her husband Ned Moko and she wrote we had a fruitful meeting with the president of Syria alone 
On the er eradication of malaria at Prince, she tagged her husband, Prince Ned Nwoko. She also tagged her husband, Pet Project, Ned Nwoko Malaria Project. You guys know that um, her husband, Ned Nwoko, has this project on malaria and some other humanitarian works he do. After she shared these pictures on her Instagram page, their fans and why we shall took to the comment section to share accolade on her and her husband for um, remembering the masses in their project. Some people, the saga surrounding Tony Abraham's movie, The Ghost and the South, since it was premiered, has been going on and is still ongoing. Yes. Now, um, Funka Kindle's bestie, Eniola Badmos, has also come to Chukmat for the Matao. So, guys, you guys could recall that I've been updating you guys on this particular saga and story that I've been making around since her movie was premiered. Yeah, I've been updating you guys on that. So, if you've not seen any of the movie, you can check through. You'll see something there to bring you a brace. So, um, I call this saga going on besties standing up and speaking up for their best. Yesterday, I made a video telling you guys that Tony Abraham replied, um, people saying that she is copying um, Funka Kindle's movie. She said she's in no competition with anyone and that um, the only thing she knows is that she's better than she was yesterday and there were a lot of people commended her on that the whole dragon and the whole saga that i talked about that has been going on it all started with the release of tony abraham's movie the ghost and the stout that a popular instagram um, movie reviewer um, called cinema pointer after the review came out to say that um, tony abraham's movie is a no-no okay he used the choice of word he used there in fact it was funny okay he used a lot of derogatory words for tony abraham's movie after he did that he also compared tony abraham's movie to omogeto of Ken funke akindele the blogger went on after that went on to um advise people not to waste your time watching tony tony abraham's movie abraham's movie that they should go and watch they should watch uh, omogeto that is of King Funke Akindele, okay? The, um, the blogger went on to say that Tony Abraham's movie, The Ghost and the Child, is for non-intelligent people that when she was making the movie, she didn't consider intelligent people. So that watching that movie is like wasting your time. That was how the blogger reviewed Tony Abraham's movie. And because of that, the way he compared the two movies, um, Another Nollywood actress here, yeah, but Joe called out Funka Kindle for being the one behind the blogger's review. Uh, he went, she went on to accuse her of, okay, bribing the blogger to say all these things he said and a lot of things she said. But since then, Funke has been mute. And Tony Abraham yesterday said she's in no competition with every anyone, okay, and uh, she cleared the air. So, as if that is not enough, yes, yesterday. Or as of today, in your lab, bad moss, okay, the bestie of Funka Kindele, she posted this, and people said she's indirectly shedding Tony Abraham's movie and Iya Bojo that called out Funke Akindele. This is what um, in your lab, bad moss wrote. She said, "When people throw you stones, it's because you are a good tree full of fruits. They see a lot of harvest in you." Don't go down to the level by throwing them back the stones, but throw them your fruit so that the seed of yourself may inspire them to change their ways. Yes, this is coming from the decks of Nollywood actress Eniola Badmos. After she said that, Funke, you can see that in the comment section. She said, first time you are making sense. Thank God. <laughs> they said, Funke, she's trying to defend, okay? Is saying thank God that she's making sense for the very first time in her life. Oh, you know, you guys know they are best of friends, they play and they joke a lot. Okay, this is her indirectly telling Iya Bojo for calling out Funke that Funke will never reply her back. So, this is just a kind of proverb she gave, and people are saying that she's talking about Funke that Funke will never stoop so low to reply Iya Bojo for dragging her out on the movie comparison that's been going on so this is it people on this particular video please drop your comments like and also share the video thank you and see you guys in my next video do have a wonderful day from me Susan J.